The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we beat the manor and acquired Rob T. Blobs III's gold coin or silver coin or old coin. I think that should be capitalized all the way, but apparently you're not into that sort of thing. But anyway, we got the coin from the mansion, which brings up the question, what was the coin doing in the mansion? How did Rob T. Blob the Third lose it? And for that matter, why was Herman the Ghost holding it inside the fireplace on the third floor? Questions! And no answers, probably. Anyway, now that we have acquired this old coin, we can probably move on with the game. However, I have no idea how we're actually supposed to move on with the game, so I will take the moment to explore, and we shall come back whenever I figure out what exactly that is. Oh, there we go. That didn't take long at all. Marshmallow! Also, upon reviewing the footage that I recorded, the cat that retrieved India from the guy is a living cat named, what was his name, Tiger. And then we have Jesse the ghost cat. I did not know that they were two separate cats at first and it was confusing because whenever that lightning strike happened in the corner at the in that one cutscene, I couldn't see the ghost cat. I just thought it was just some random lightning strike and it's like what this what's going on? Aqua V must hurry. Yeah, that cat is hardly visible. Wait! Who are you and where's India? He already told you who he is. He He's Jesse. Or she. Jesse could be a boy name or a girl name. Mega spooky. There is a town called Aqua Villa across the bridge near here. Maybe we should go there. Alright. Well, I was supposed to come this way in order to trigger that scene, so I guess I get a pass in here then. Hey, can I have that coin? I'm a collector, and I'll give you a free bridge pass for it. No. Oh well, too bad. By the way, the name Dr. Hannah. Before I met this guy, I thought Dr. Hannah was a girl. What, what guy is named Hannah? Besides this guy. Unless that's his last name, in which case... Who has the last name of Hannah? Wait. What about, like, Hannah Barbara? Was, are those, like, two people? Something Hannah and something Barbara? Are those last names? I don't know. I hate to part with mine coin, but we must cross that bridge so here. I almost want to say that mine is a stupid typo, but maybe that's just how Rob speaks. Promise to take care of it. Thanks, buddy. I'll take good care of it. Here is your pass. Got bridge pass. So we essentially went through all that trouble in the manor just to give the coin away. I mean, yeah, it's required in order to continue on with the quest, but still. Well, at least that means the coin did kind of have a purpose. I just did not expect it to have such a simple purpose. Alright. Across the bridge we shall go. I find it interesting that the bridge has this song in particular. It's such a goofy song. Let me see your pass. Oh. No, no, it's, it's automated. I was going to say, I thought, for a moment there, I thought I would have to actually use it as a key. Okay, you're clear. I wonder. Uh-huh. 
So he used the move to the location command in order to get to here. So it's not like he's told him to move right then down. That would be funny because then he would be on the rail. But I, I think I know why he used the move to location command. It, 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 to clarify, the move to location command tells an event to move to a specific spot on the screen. The reason he used it to t twice, he. Okay, this is gonna be tricky to explain because I get tongue tied and my thoughts don't come out too well. But he basically used a move to location command to say go here, and then another command to say go down. The reason he didn't just say go he straight to here is the way that the move location command works. Generally, whichever path is the shortest, they go that direction first. So if it's two spaces right and three spaces down, they will go right first. But if it's an equal amount of space, they will go down first, which means this guy would have traveled through the barrel in order to get here. That said, I'm kind of wondering... Why didn't he, um... Tell, the, tell this event to move right and then down? Well, obviously he didn't tell, do that because that would have put him on the rail, but... In that case, there are ways to prevent this event from repeating. Could have used the unable to execute command. That would have made it so he wouldn't be doing there. But the time next time we return, he'd st be back here and be able to move again. Which makes me wonder if I leave and come back. Actually, that's not going to be the case. It's always going to put me on the left side. I'm thinking of games like Mario RPG and Chrono Trigger, where you could appear on the other side of the bridge. Anyway, enough confusing expl explanation. We shall go to this town here, Aqua Villa. Villa, 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 whatever. Welcome to Aqua This Place, Watery Haven. Event. Please, sir, you gotta help me. Where is that female voice coming from? Look, miss, I already told you no. Now leave me alone. Okay, so the female voice was coming from that angel. For a moment there, I thought it was coming from the guy. He does kind of look like he has long hair. That's actually a cape that happens to be the same color as his hair. You're terrible! No, I am not going to try cr fake crying. I'm not a voice actor, and you should be all glad for that. Question mark? Love! Uh... Maybe we should talk to her. Okay. Hello. Hi. The famous Aqua This Place pub. An angel? Where's Sinji when you need him? As a reference to something, and I don't know what it is. So let's see here. Uh, we go exploring. I'll go into the pub later. For now, we go exploring. And that's just a regular in thing. And there's this event. Ooh, what's this? Toilet. Oops. Let's not step on the toilet. Next chance I get, I really need to find out if that glowy yellow space heals poison. Strange things are hoping in Angelica, I hear. Angelica... Hmm, would that happen to be where the angel is from? HALT! This leads to a series of underwater caves. I cannot let you pass. You will eventually. Oh, you will. I love the smell of the sea. It makes me think of my husband. He's a famous captain. His boat is the Anubis, I think. Clinic. Okay, what's the point of a clinic then? Hello, I'm the doctor. The guy in the back says he was attacked by a cat. He scratched up pretty bad. I'm going to go freak him out. Oh, Z's. Darn, he's asleep. Ugh, it's full of medical waste. 
That's right, this game has interactive objects. Apparently not the... Oh! Look at the flowies! I mean flowers. Oh, I was really hoping that was a real typo. Incidentally, it is a good thing that I checked this flower instead of this one first. Welcome to the clinic. I'm over here. Do you need treatment? It's 200 gold. No. I'm Okay, come again. What is... What sort of treatment are we talking about here? 200 gold is a lot. I think I'll, um, not do that. There's no easy way to reset the game, so I'm not gonna do the thing where I save the game and reset. There's no quit option in this, in this menu. Locked. 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 Aqua This Place Apartments. Apparently they're all locked. Mom says I'm too young to go to the pub. That's not fair, I'm 10, so I'm not young. Nope, you're not young. 10 years old, you'd be old enough to travel on a journey fighting monsters with other monsters. Pool of luck. Toss in a go coin for good luck. Toss a coin? Yes. All party odds up one. Interesting. I guess that's why it's luck. Only once per customer. Aww. I'm waiting for the boat. The boat to Gobin should be here soon. And by soon, I mean as soon as the next story event takes place. Alright, let's see, is that it for this place then? I mean, yeah, I gotta go to the pub. Oh, I haven't gone into this building yet. Fish! Birds! Hello, Felinarian. Would you like to rent one of our beautiful apartments? No thanks, we are only in town for a short while. Well, if you're ever looking for a place, I hope you think of us. I'm kind of hoping that that will actually be an option. Got water! What does water do? HP plus 50. So it's a healing item. Water is important. I keep a glass of water at my side at all times during these let's plays. You might occasionally hear me setting the glass down like this. Or maybe you didn't hear a thing, in which case I just sounded stupid right about now. Oh right, I already told to talk to that person, and haven't talked to this person. I always gaze into the sea. It helps me write my songs. And this place is a weapon shop, I presume. Guess what I sell? I don't know. Wait, a slimy sword? Slimes can use swords? Wow, got a lot of weapons here. Well, buy, might as well buy the more expensive one. Feral Claw or Uzi Sword. Go with Honor! Or something like that. Now, who has the weaker attack power? We're at the same level, and we got the exact same amount of strength. And health. And agility and magic defense, or ability defense. A defense is your immunity to status effects. And that is set, is set way too low, but the way it works is every 100 points of a defense is 1% chance that you won't be afflicted by a spell. But that's a really confusing stat, and it's not entirely clear that's the case, so I'm not going to ever critique anybody for setting that too low. So anyway, we got the same strength, which makes me wonder about stuff. Well, who's got equipment and... He's got the slimy sword. That's an attack plus five. And they got the same strength of weapon. Alright then. 
in that case, I shall... Actually, I'll buy both. I'll do that. And I'll go ahead and sell the, his old sword and buy the other thing. Unfortunately, that doesn't leave me any money to buy anything else, so I'll just leave it at that. I'm going to go ahead and save now, just in case something stupid happens while I'm inside that inn. Or pub. Welcome to my famed pub. Make yourselves at home. For a moment there, I thought I forgot I was doing a Let's Play and just wandered in here and... Yeah, I'm Let's Playing. I'm cleaning this table. Good for you. Sigh, my feet are killing me. I need a break. Man, I've already lost my paycheck to this guy. But what do you have left? Why are you still playing? You're an idiot! The drinks are good and the girls are pretty. I love this place. Generic NPC banter. Welcome to the Aqua This Place Pub. Would you like a drink? Ah, item shop. We got Dr. Pepper, we got coffee, we got cherry drink, and we got fluid. Didn't I get... Oh wait, it was a spell. Cherry drink. I can buy coffee, which uh, raises my MP by 10. Heals my MP, rather. That would be useful, so I'll buy one. Okay, come again. I really hope I didn't just... Uh, oh wait, are these two the same people? Yeah, they're the same people. Can't get enough Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. And yes, Lantis, I know that you didn't actually have any involvements with this game. That was just a joke. On the left is a flush, on the right is a full house. Yeah, information that really doesn't have a point. You do not talk. Why do you not talk? Oh, now you talk. Hello, what a cute kitty. That can only mean one thing. These two spaces have an event that are interfering with this character. Yep. So what is on those tiles? I don't know. Love. Uh, miss, are you okay? By what logic could a slime fall in love with an angel? It's like how weird it is that Elmer Fudd can fall in love with a girl with a rabbit face. Question mark. No, I'm not. I need help. What's wrong? No apostrophe, but I can't think of a funny way to spell or sound it out. Well, unless I say wats. I don't know. Well, you see, me and my two sisters are the current leaders of Angelica, the nation ruling the island of Gobin. My two sisters have simply gone insane. They are worshipping some strange goddess and imprisoning anyone who opposed them. That is terrible. Yes, I barely managed to escape myself. I want to do something, but I can't. Not alone, at least. I'd be happy to help a beautiful woman like Yi. Marshmallow? Hmm. Maybe this is why Jesse told me to come here. Okay, I'd be happy to. Really? Thanks a lot, both of you. My name is Annabelle. I've mentioned this in a few of my Let's Plays before, but... I feel like a lot is supposed to be two words, and yet I can't really blame anybody for spelling that way because in first grade my teachers told me that it was one word. It's not. Annabelle joined. You really need to have a better way of having this character stuff appear in my party rather than flashing into the rear end of my party. 
Like maybe have a uh, marshmallow travel here, have the gather party command, and there. You wouldn't be able to tell this character flashing from my party. So who do we got here? Hey, how much you wanna bet that this character is at level one? Uh uh Level five. Then why the heck is Rob at level one when he joined my party? Uh, what sort of equipment are we talking about? We got a cloud robe, which is going to do absolutely nothing for our defense. And a ring, which is barely going to do anything. Well, at least now I know what the ring in the shop was supposed to be for. Anything else that I can equip? No. So, she's probably going to suck for the time being. Her HP is half what we got, and her defense is... Not that great. Oh, uh, well, we'll survive. Eventually. Wait, where are we supposed to go now? Wait, was this guy standing here before? Oh yeah, he was. Alright, give me a moment while I try to figure out where we're supposed to go. Oh, by the way, while I'm saving, you'll note that my gameplay time is now 23 minutes. This is something that is really stupid in RPG Maker 1. For some reason, even though it saves the gameplay time, when you load the game, it doesn't load the gameplay time. So it lo so it winds up going straight back to zero minutes. So unless you're like riding down the time or, I don't know, recording a let's play, you're never really going to know just how long it takes to beat a game. And it's stupid. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Another cat. I've seen too many. Oh, it's the guy from the beginning of the game who bought India. You were attacked by a cat? Yes, it stole the kitten I had just bought. A cute little thing called India. Exclamation point. Right? Am I right? I was close. What? You're the one who bought India! Where is she? I don't know. This cat calling itself Tiger took her. Tiger? Yeah. There was something about that cat. He just felt evil. Tiger? But he's... Where did they go? I don't know. They disappeared into the brush. Tell me where she is or you'll have ten times as many scratches. Whoa, calm down, Marshmallow. He is obviously scared of you. I doubt he's lying. I'm curious how you would spell lying. Well, I'm curious how you would spell lying. That, it looks funny, but I don't know. Lie is one of those confusing words to use as a multiple for, multiple or verb or whatever. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just worried is all. No biggie. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. Here this was on the kitten. Got India's tag. Now please go. I never want to see another cat again. Too bad. This is automatic. Marshmallow, do you know this tiger? It's a long story. And I am going to tell it to you. Tiger is the captain of the Felinar Guard and a skilled fire fighter. Hey, Rosser, did you want to see a cat fighting a dragon? Well, here we go. Well, that was easy. The Felinar Guard are meant to protect their people from any threats. The people of Felinar are valued by some. Think about it. A Felinar kitten with no knowledge of its people sold as a pet. Children would love to have a pet they could talk to if you bred hundreds of them, you'd become rich. That's what almost happened to me and India. We were captured by Granny. She sold India and was planning on breeding more with me. I managed to escape, and it seems that India did also with Tiger's help. What I don't understand is Jessie. The ghost cat that is following me and keeps telling me where to go. She seems- okay, it's a girl. She seems to think India is in danger, but if she is with Tiger, she should be safe. 
I must be missing something. By the way, I think it's a nice touch that you actually have the party move down a couple spaces. That way they are still in a row whenever we return to this scene. Otherwise, they would have been on top of each other like they normally are whenever you move to a new screen. Annabelle, I promise to help you and I will, but I must return to Felinar afterwards. I understand. I will go with you as well. Why? Count me in as well. Thanks. It means a lot. Hooray, backstory! And now that stuff, we can go ahead and... Where are we going? No, seriously. We're supposed to help Annabelle, but I don't know where that is. We're also supposed to rescue India, and I don't know where that is. And there's no world map stuff going on, so... Let me check the boat. Actually, first let me ch uh, tor torment this guy who bought my sister. Aww. It's finally here. Yay! Let's go on a boat. All aboard for Gobin. Yes. That's it? You say you're gonna draw, uh, ride the boat and that just opens up the next location on the world map? There's like no sequence to... Uh, no boat riding? No cussing with the boat taking off? Come on, even Dragon Warrior 4 does better than this. By the way, for those of you curious, I'm still playing Dragon Warrior 4. Haven't beaten it yet. It's quite a long game. Anyway, next time we shall go to Gobin. Why? I completely forget. I think it's to help Angelica or Ange um, Annabelle. I think it's to help Annabelle. So next time we shall go to Gobin to help Annabelle. I'll see you then. Children would love to have a pet they could talk to. If you could bred hundreds of them, you'd become rich. That's what almost happened to me in India. We were captured by Granny. She sold India and was planning on breeding more with me. I managed to escape.